from pennies make pounds. So don't feel, oh God, they've only given us 10 pounds. That's 10 pounds more than what you started with. When Chilcompton got notified they were having to leave Downside after 90 years, it was pretty evident that some work was needed to give them the kits and give them a ground to play on that felt like home and to recognise that to the, all the local community, here is a cricket club. The club was going to be moving from downside with just bat and ball. But the spirit of Chill Compton come up with the club. Everyone mucked in, set up the square, but of course with a cricket club, there's a hell of a lot of kit is required. So I asked them, give me your, your shopping list. I'm not a player, I'm not a groundsman, I know nothing about machinery. And I was thinking, what can I do to help the club to make it survive? And all I could think of, I could play a little part in trying to do a small bit of fundraising for them. I've always supported local communities, always supported what my son done. When he was at school, I've done PTA fundraising. So fundraising was not new to me. I knew how fundraising can be modified to succeed with a grant and how careful you have to be to pick the right grants. I did ask for a shopping list. I needed quite a bit of guidance on some of the kit because I had no idea, especially when it comes to Trav the Roller. My picture of a roller was different to, in fact, what they wanted. I went and searched sight screens, covers, went to different suppliers, finding out money. But my part is very small in the scheme of things. The club spirit was there. Everyone mucked in. And Dave talks about a thriving club. And that is down to the players, the families, the friends, Chew Compton Sport, and our sponsors, and especially the support we get from the local community. My son played for Chew, well, Stratton and Foss as it was, and my husband and I always supported whatever he was involved in, and whatever way, whatever skills we had to help. Cricket club needs to demonstrate they're a cricket club. So we could have easily gone for one sight screen at each end, but I chose to go for two sight screens at each end. I start off saying, ideally we would like a Lamborghini, but if you wish to give us a handcart, we will still be more than happy. It's no good just looking now. Look what you can, what you're going to need in the future. If clubs fold. Playing fields go downhill, they become housing estates, commercial premises. So the community loses their breathing space, especially now after COVID. People need a place to go and relax, to chill out. And with the junior section, gives the kids something to do, keeps them healthy. We straight away realised that we were an ageing team and so we needed to, to bring a youth policy to Chill Compton. We were running on a budget of a, a turnover of maybe £3,000 a year, and we had in our, in our account £500. Jackie's son played when we were at um, Downside, and, um, we, and she came and offered her services to rate, help raise some money for us, and it was unbelievable what, um, what she achieved in such a short space of time, and still achieving to this very day. If someone had said to me when we left Downside that we would need that sort of money to start a cricket club, I think I might have had a different idea. We had a choice, do we carry on or do we all just pack it in? And um, you know, it was a, a chance meeting to be here and also a chance meeting with Jackie to, uh, to know that she could raise the money. I don't know, we definitely wouldn't have been able to do it on our own.
Our juniors went through a whole season this year in the, thir in in the under 13 Bath and District League and won the league for the first time ever um, against some much bigger clubs than we are. We've got a lot of ladies and girls playing in the club as well, which is, which is great to see. It leaves the club in a hell of a good position, you know? We all know that without Jackie, there wouldn't be a Chill Compton Sports Club. To me, it's, it's, all down, it's all down to Jackie's fundraising that we've, been, we've got the club we have today. You know, I, I thank Jackie for everything she's done on the fundraising, but just being a presence there and some advice and, and telling me in the beginning that the junior section was the most important thing before the senior section. And um, she was right. Thank you.